a Tacoma mod mistake that's driving me crazy. And it wasn't even all my fault. everybody how are you today pretty good here and that's right there is a mod mistake that I did on my Tacoma that frankly it's just driving me nuts um, and I need to fix it now I say this wasn't all my fault because it really wasn't now what am I talking about well it's the sport bar you know and I gotta say well first of all I just wanted to point this out I never noticed this before I have a little scrape here. I don't know if I did that or what, but I'm uh, going to need to look at touching that up. That's not the mistake. What I'm talking about, of course, is right here. You see how this rises up right here? Uh, it's because I have a bolt underneath there. This bracket actually bolts on underneath into a threaded insert in the bar itself. Now, when I got it, if you hadn't seen the video, it came with some flat Allen screws one for each side that screwed in. But the problem is, and this is why it isn't all my fault, is they didn't send the right screws. They weren't threaded correctly. They didn't fit. So I had to improvise. Now, after I had spent probably, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half, putting this whole thing together, figuring out how I wanted to do it, I wasn't gonna stop. And that's a fatal flaw for me, I guess, right? I went ahead and I used a, a cap screw, I guess, something with a bigger head on the end of it that didn't screw down flush like what it was supposed to be. So when I put that on, it obviously hits the bed cap here. It doesn't sit up flush in its housing in there like it's supposed to. Now I got lucky on the other side, I did the same thing because of course the bolt didn't fit there either, but this side sits flat. You can't see anything here. But this is definitely raised and it's probably maybe an eighth of an inch, pushing a quarter, something like that. And it even looks like there's a slight um, cupping, if you will, of the bracket here, which there really shouldn't be because when I put this pole bar on here, it just sits and bolts on via these bolts in the side. So there's no downforce pulling this thing down and somehow warping this. I don't know. Just doesn't look right to me. I don't like that and I don't like that I have this. Now, there are some other remedies out there, of course. You know, I know you could put caulk or something there if you wanted to, to kind of fill that void. And given that it's black, probably would look just fine. You wouldn't see it. But the problem with that is, for me, is I would know and I would see it. Even if this was filled in with black here, I would still know it's there and I would still focus on that when I came around to the back. And I gotta say, it's driving me crazy. Now, there's one other functional problem with leaving it the way that it is, of course, and that is the bolt that's right under here. And I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe you can if I, yeah, right there, if I get the right angle. But that bolt that's sitting there is of course sitting on just this plastic liner, right? And that eventually is going to wear through. If it hasn't already, I'll be interested to see if it has at all yet. Because what my plan is, and this is going to be quite time consuming and quite involved unfortunately because the job is done, right? I have to go through and loosen or take out actually all of these bolts that I have holding the bracket down, which holds the sport bar down, of course, I have washers, multiple washers behind these because I had space to fill as you go down the whole board, or the whole bracket, rather. So I have to pull all those out. Then I've got to slide the bed rack forward because I have to be able to tilt it up in the air, right, so that I can access the screw that's underneath here. Now, the one other problem with that is, is the third brake light. There is wiring that goes down right through that little leg there and behind the actual bracket here um, so that I can get power from the tail light down there. Now, I put that rather tight because uh, I didn't want to have wires hanging down, obviously. So I'm going to have to deal with that. And the problem with that is is I don't have enough, I don't think, 
enough slack in it that when I pull this forward and tip it up a bit, it'll break the wire. So I'm going to cut the wire. Rather than remove it from the brake light back here, which I don't want to do because it's a nice good connection, and uh, I don't want to mess with that. It works fine. So I'm actually going to cut the wire. There will be two wires in there, and then I'll end up splicing them back together, which is okay because then I can lengthen it or shorten it however I want to do once I have it sitting back in place. So that'll work out well. Now, there is one bonus to doing it this way, or having to do it at all, I guess, and that is the gap here. Uh, I came across another person who actually put the same sport bar on his truck, which looks awesome, by the way. He's got a black truck and it looks way cool. But when he did his, he actually moved the bar a little further forward than what I have here, reducing this gap between the bar and the back of the cab. I like that look. Now, I don't know that I could, even if I didn't have that little problem down there, that I could loosen it and move it now because of how tight I have the wiring. So it's going to enable me to move this a little bit further forward. Um, and what I'm going to do, this edge of the bracket that you can see right here, I'm going to move up to be more in line probably uh, with about right here. But either way, I am going to close this gap um, to bring it a little bit closer because frankly, I just think it provides for a, a bit of a better look. Now, the other problem that I have, there's always more problems, right? I don't know what size screw this thing takes other than the bolt, rather, that I have in it. So I've got to pull this bolt out and then I've got to go to Lowe's and see if I can't find a bolt that actually is flat. And what I want is the same thing that came with the kit, right? And I am going to try that bolt again just in the off chance that maybe I screwed it up, didn't have it threaded right or something, and it actually does fit. Um, thinking back as to how the install went, I don't see any way that's possible because it didn't even fit in the hole uh, to clear the bracket to be able to get to the thread. So I don't think that's possible, but you'll see when I do this uh, redo video whether or not that's actually the case. And I hope not because what a boneheaded thing to do to not be able to get it in and then ultimately in the end it actually fits. I hope not. So that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and undo the whole thing. The only real bonus in this, I guess, is that I don't have to lift it off the truck because that is a two-man job. Not because of its weight or anything. It's just awkward because of its size. I mean, if you look at that, it's a pretty big piece. So I will be able to leave it on the truck and just maneuver it around on the rails. So that's a good thing. Um, it's already set for width and all that, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to be pulling it apart or anything. And it will also give me just a little bit more room right there for my little spare tire device that I put in here. This is to be able to get the jack up a little higher. And it's right on the edge now. So it'll be nice to be able to push that this way a little bit, and that should be fine. And then one other thing, it does not interfere with the recovery board setup that I have. So there's no issues there as far as having to mess with those, nor the cleats, the tie downs that I have up there. You can see there's a good gap between the two. So no problems there. So that is the mod mistake that I made that has just been driving me crazy, right? But I'm not taking full credit for it. They should have sent me the right hardware. I just should have been more patient, I guess. and came up with something else as opposed to hurrying through because I happen to have bolts that fit. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. You ever done that? You ever gone ahead, hurried through a mod, got it all done, it wasn't quite right, and then instead of just being patient, redid the whole thing? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. Check them out. If you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. A Tacoma mod mistake that's driving me crazy. And it isn't.
a Tacoma mod mistake that's driving me crazy. And it easy. Oh my god.